first you have to make uh, a design of the case design and uh, uh, so you have this you have the architecture of the hall you have the dimensions and you have the demands of your customer Dr. Eschbach, who wanted to have all these stops in his organ, and that the space was given. The, the loft was here ready to receive an organ, so we had to start designing an organ. And uh, a little bit uh, along the geometrical shapes that you have with his rear window give us, give us the ideas of these different angles and the, sh the top uh, of the roof follows the angle of the of the window in the back, which is a hexagonal uh, window. When you do the, uh, the the case design, you have to think about everything at the same time: the action, how it is laid out, how your trackers go up, and how your winches are uh, laid out. So it's it's a complicated thing. And then later on, you do more detailed work on the actual size of what, what it takes to make it. Voicing means that you do, you give the voice to each pipe. You have to make it speak properly, uh, give it the right, uh, the right loudness and balance every stop, every row of pipes so they balance with others. In, so it's the whole process of, of um, making it a musical instrument. And the, the pipes uh, are made out of pewter, most of them, and some are made of wood. And some contain more lead than others. The pewter is a mixture of tin and, and lead. Facade pipes, they have like 80% tin. But the good thing about this metal is that you can manipulate it, you can bend it, you can cut it. You can cut it with a knife just like wood. So you can, you have to make, everything is done, most everything is done on, on the opening, on the mouth. And, the, and on the windway there, on the cut up, the height of that mouth is important. In, uh, it has to be, have the proper height to, to speak properly. And so it's all a balance how you, uh, the quickness of the speech, you can adjust this. Uh, there is a language on the pipe, right, right over the, like on a recorder flute, there is a little, little windway. And that language uh, has to be adjusted in the height so it speaks at the right speed. So, like that and not whoosh. So all these things have to be uh, regulated. Uh, that's the voicing. What does this mean to have this organ at UNT in the College well, of Music? It finally puts us on a par with many other colleges of music, schools of music in the country. It means that we can teach the literature as we would wish to teach it. Artistically, it means we can explore and give explore the literature for the instrument and give our students the tools they need to go anywhere and adapt. Um, they may go somewhere where there's not an organ as wonderful as this, but they'll have a sound in their ear and in their musical imagination, and it gives them a tool to search in whatever instrument they're playing for the sound that they want. And it also gives them the variety of sounds from an instrument that um, hopefully entices their imagination.